So having just flown into the Shanghai Pudong International Airport, I was confronted with some decisions. I could ride the Metro or the Maglev. The Maglev is a magnetic levitation train, and it uses magnets under the track to float slightly above the track and propels the train along the track. And so I chose the Maglev because it's one of the only commercially uh, accessible magnetic levitation trains in the world. This one, um, here it is in the station, and it's pretty new, about 10 years old. Um, they have some large models of it in the in the station they're quite proud of it and, and uh at the it for now only runs about 20 miles between the airport and Longyan road and inside it has open corridor between all four units and here's a view of the rail i'll show um later on there's a at Longyan road there's a museum that gives you a, a much better idea of the way the track is constructed and how the, the magnets propel the train along it. So here we are starting and I just deso decided to um, record this in real time so you can see how quickly it goes. The whole journey takes under seven minutes and you go about 20 miles. I couldn't even tell when it started um, that it there was any um, magnetic forces inside the car. It all seemed to be uh, under the car and um, it wasn't affecting inside. You can see already how quickly we're going. 128 kilometers an hour and you can the acceleration is so smooth and um, very very nice train ride no jostling no noise really from the from the rails at all and if you pay attention to the background you can see how quickly in fact we are moving but the acceleration is really impressive, like a steady ramping up. At some point we even pass uh, the other train moving the opposite direction, so um, passing something at over 300 miles an hour. It's really impressive. So here we are topping out at, a, at 301 kilometers an hour, which is about 187 miles an hour. And the speed is maintained through the center section of, of the track. So far, um, this is the only commercially uh, accessible magnet, maglev train in the world. The only that has uh, that's open to the public and has uh, time operates according to a timetable. Um, both Japan and China are working towards. There's the train that just passed us. Incredible. They're both China and Japan are working towards uh, much faster maglev trains. There being no uh, resistance from the wheels rotating, and, and uh, it's not in contact with anything. It's just floating on a on like a magnetic cushion. It's really impressive technology. I think that 
within 10 years we'll have we'll see a lot more around the world this is my first trip to Shanghai and I just thought it was amazing to um, get off a 24 hour flight <laughs> from New York um, with a layover in Hong Kong and uh, then get to ride one of the fastest trains in the world kind of the leading edge of technology the train ride is rather short um, again it's only it's only seven minutes so I'm, I'm just gonna let the whole thing play in real time Unfortunately, we're traveling so quickly that I don't get to show any of the local freight trains. <laughs> this area of um, Shanghai is, is called Pudong, and until the 1990s, it was really a rural uh, agricultural area, and uh, in the late 90s, it uh, was uh, claimed declared by the country to become a economic development zone. So it became a large city and uh, all of the development that you can see is really um, comes since the 90s. It's quite, quite a big change. section of, of uh, track slides back and forth like a transfer table uh, more than more than a, a switch where the, the rails um, just re-angle themselves so here's Yangyan station and uh, here the train meets the uh, Shanghai Metro Rail again so you can transfer from the maglev train to the metro train. It's a very nice open air station. You can see all four units of the train. And on the ground level, if you don't uh, switch to the metro, um, there is a museum um, showing uh, the history of 
railroads and uh, speed um, magnetic levitation experiments um, going back the whole 20th century. <laughs> it's a very nice station. And here's the exhibits from the museum of uh, kind of early experiments of mag maglev kind of demonstration railroads um, in Germany, China, and Japan, as well as France. A mix of models and um, kind of images. The museum doesn't really cover much um, past the um, development of this particular rail line. Uh, China has a much improved um, monorail that's in experimental stages that will eventually run between uh, Beijing and Shanghai. But a lot of interesting history of um, kind of early developments and you can see um, how the magnets um, interact between the magnets and the rails and the rail cars. And this was a nice uh, model of the Pudong International Airport, um, about 25 feet long, uh, maybe 10 feet deep. I believe end scale of, uh, of the monorail, or excuse me, uh, maglev. This was a concept model um, from when they were proposing it initially. But nice to see that it's been preserved and it's on display in this uh, museum. So yes, uh, it was officially opened in 2000 and here's some uh, of the rail the inside the rail, um, the connections of, with all of the um, wiring to turn on and off the magnets that support and propel the train forward. As you see, uh, the curves are all banked so that for comfort and of the passengers, and there's a switch there, and uh, some discussion of how maglev trains work. Um, a lot of this is really. Uh, towards uh, the average um, viewer. Um, it seemed like it was probably more popular when it f first opened. Um, when I went, I was the only person who w was there who was not working at the museum. Again, several of these uh, very large models, um, kind of like the same scale as a Barbie, um, I guess once you've made one model at that scale, it's much easier to just cast it again if it's in fiberglass. Most of the exhibits are in Chinese, um, although there are uh, several um, sections in English. And here's the um, magnets on and off sections. And I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, stay tuned for more.